I started a sermon series last week, The Foundations of Our Faith. And I want to continue from where we stopped last week. We said last week that what lays the foundation of our Christian faith is three things. Number one, we said what? The consciousness of God's presence. Number two, we said the consciousness of God's promise or the understanding of God's promises. And number three, we said that you have to have a consciousness to live by the principles of God. Now we said that this is the foundation upon which every other thing is built on. Every blessing you would require from God, every breakthrough, every promotion, every protection, whatever you would need to succeed as a believer, a violation of these three basic foundations of your Christian faith will cause it not to happen for you. A violation of these three foundations. In other words, if you go against all these three, every other problem in this life will hit you. Fear, anxiety, frustration, confusion, demonic attack, is all based on one of the foundation, a violation of the consciousness of God's presence. So when you are not conscious of God's presence, you will live in fear. Praise the Lord. I used to be a painter. I used to be a baba. I used to do opanka, shoe, shoe, shoemaker. I used to do opanka. I go to Tama Station, the back there is where they call it the now. When you pass inside there, where the railway is, you go there, you drop down there. That's where they said you can use there to enter into Kanta. Yeah, that's why you go and buy leather, you buy the sew and come and do it. I used to do all sorts of things. My mother used to sell uh, both fruit in the table, then you carry it. But my mother had a consciousness of God's presence and led us to have a consciousness of God's presence. By that consciousness, I could believe God for anything. And I am who I am today by the grace of God. What I'm saying to you is a violation of these, these four basic foundations of your Christian faith will expose you to demonic attack. A consciousness of God's promise is everything. I know what God has promised me. It might not yet have happened, but I know that faithful is he that has promised. The same will do it. And so an understanding of God's promise will cause me to be at peace even in the midst of the storm. When I was 23 years old, the Lord said to me, the Lord carried me in visions of the spirit and took me to a church and opened a curtain and there were lots of multitudes of people in the room. And the Lord said to me, if you can trust me, I will give you a ministry bigger than this. I look at the ministry and look at my life. It doesn't make sense. A ministry that is big, is this how it starts? But God gives us a promise so that when we, when we go through the storm, we weather the storm because we know that surely there is an end. And though our beginning may be small, our latter ends are exceedingly increased. That's what the scripture says. So the promise of God gives you peace in the midst of the storm. Then we also have to learn to live by the principles of God. When a Muslim obeys the principle of God, it will work for him. There's a principle of flotation. Then there's a principle of, of gravity. There are all sorts of principles in life. Praise the Lord. A violation of the principle, it doesn't matter how anointed you are, you have problems. The Bible says if you take fire into your bosom, it will burn it. As a pastor, if I keep bringing sisters around me and say, oh, my daughter, hug me small, receive anointing, receive anointing, me once again, I you know, the Bible says, there are some things that should not once be named among you. It's a scripture. There are some, why? Because once it is named among you, you will lose integrity forever. And when you lose your integrity, <laughs> the Bible says, a good name is better than riches. What it means is, when you lose your name, you cannot buy it back. And then somebody was saying that, there is no Ekufuado's child who can be a next president in Ghana. I said, why? It's also 
the man has just put his entire family into a disadvantage. I say, why? He said, because, you know, we were complaining about it before the man came to power. And now he has proven that the Kufuados cannot be trusted. So all provisions, all protections, all providences, all the blessings of God are connected. All this nonsense we do, we wake up, haja, haja, every force of darkness in my father's house. Every day, you only use it. You started praying for many, many years. If you for a baby, for sometimes some of the things you bind, it has no need to be bound. You have to obey principle. Because the scripture says, and put it on the screen. If you break the hedge, a serpent will bite you. I helped one of my sons to rent a house. When my son rented a house, I told him, don't bring girls into this house. Because if you bring a girl, she will get pregnant for you. Oh. My son felt like too much of you, Papa. My son started inviting guests into the house. One day he was there, a girl called him. He said, if he's lying, I'm lying. A girl called him and said, I, I, went, for, I went for church service and I've closed, but it's late. Can I come and sleep in your house? The girl went to sleep in the house in the night. He was telling him that he's feeling cold, feeling cold. By the time we realized, they're feeling of the zozy. The cold has gotten the girl pregnant. Yeah, so he's forced to marry the person. And because it was not a planting, the girl doesn't respect. Now, There's one that I was with. One of my sons he was, was living with me. Rented a place. <clears throat> Help him rent a place. One day I was going to drop this boy. I dropped the boy in the house. Then there was a girl in the car. It was raining. You know? I gave them a lift. I said, ah, you, where will you get this girl? I said, ah. You're getting down here. He says, so oh, it's my classmate. I said, hey. <laughs> classmate and it's raining and you're going to the house. I said, you will don't have sex. Because if you have sex now, you'll get pregnant. <laughs> get pregnant. Get pregnant. Mess the guy's life up till today. Last night the guy told me, I want to restart my life. <laughs> I said, you are restarting from where? <laughs> I want to restart. Because a violation of the principle will give you a problem. The Bible says, holiness without which you cannot see God. In other words, there are some things, there's a part of God if you want to see. If you want to see God at work, you know that, changing your destiny forever. You must close your zip. Live a holy life. Because, bros, some sister can derail you from your destiny. Because this is what I've come to know. Sister, the devil has no power to derail a man's destiny. All he will do is he will advertise a package. And if you go and pick the package, it becomes your own. Follow peace with all men. And holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. So when you don't follow peace with people, you will be praying that God will intervene, but he won't. Because your own attitude drives people away from you. Usubai amama for nyuni. Is it making sense? Or oh, you don't like sermons like this one? She tell you I receive it. You will get it. This is I receive it proper. No, I will never forget. I have sons, so they do things. So. My children. One of my daughters did the same thing. Mm, 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 team. When I went for the naming ceremony, and the girl's family said, What will be your kwasia? Until so you know Do you know what the guy said? I will never forget. No, 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 no. If she had not shipping herself, would the guy talk like that? You see, a violation of the principles of God puts you in a vulnerable position. I'm giving you points just using stories. Though. Because the secret of men are in their stories. The seven principles of the kingdom. So we said that the principle of mercy reflects God's mercy. We said the principle of love reflects God's love. We said the principle of increase reflects God's grace. We said the principle of faith reflects God, God as faithful and true. We said the principle of authority reflects God as Lord. We said the principle of power reflects God as almighty. We said the principle of unity reflects God as one Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, let me go on. The enemy's plan is to oppose you from living out the principles of God. You know, 
One day we were doing worship. I was upstairs. I was just lying down, taking, breathing, breathe out. God give me strength. Because I hate to admit it. But my wife keeps telling me to rest. What could school undi? BBI a mathematics. It's not rest. There's no rest for saying all sorts of things. See? I say, you can't change me. How, why should I rest? How can I rest? Then they rest too. Then sometimes then she'll become basa. I do sometimes then I get angry that she's basa. Why are you getting basa? Is it your body? Now, now let me tell you something. Now, after many, many, many years of doing the same thing, now I can feel it in my body because you can't cheat nature. Oh, do you love this pastor who can admit it's wrong? Did you even look at my face? He's looking on the ground. Was it a kawasem? Kawasem. <laughs> Are you getting me? I woke up this morning. I'm telling her that when I finished, I woke up, I dressed up. I said I was feeling sleepy. <laughs> so I said, Menikum. I said, how can you sleep and wake up and you feel sleepy? Because compound effect of misbehavior, you will pay the price for it. So when you decide to compound bitterness in your heart, see, you become an embittered person. When you can't forgive and you become vindictive, your pressure will go up. You will get hypertension because there's so much tension in your body. An anointing does not remove that one. Hello? Can I speak? As for God, he's looking for a vessel to use. As long as I present myself, God will use me. But after a while, my own stupidity in violation of the principle will shut down my body and I will die. Why will I die? I will die because there are some things, it is not prayer, it's common sense. The Bible says, every enterprise is built by wise planning. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 3 to 4. I read the Living Bible translation. Says, Any enterprise, in other words, life, in other words, your family, in other words, your business, in other words, your, 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 your marriage, is built by wise planning. It takes wisdom to build a house. And understanding to set it on a firm foundation. It takes knowledge to furnish each rooms with fine furniture and beautiful draperies. By wisdom a house and through understanding it is established. So if you don't understand the dynamics of it, it will never be established. In your own life, the quality of your life, the outcome of your life, it is dependent on understanding the principles by which success can be guaranteed. As I see Lady Irene, if I talk to her anyhow, what will happen? She will start talking to me anyhow. Is that not it? Yeah. When I talk to her anyhow, won't other people also talk to her anyhow? Yeah. If I respect other women more than her, will other women respect Lady Irene more than that? No. When I'm even talking to you and I sense a disrespect concerning my wife, you no more become my friend. Because the one I stay with in the house, I put my head on her. If if you disrespect the person you disrespect me listen to me every house is built by someone if you're a married man and you speak to your wife anyhow or you're a married woman you speak to your husband anyhow you lack understanding because what it is is you are devaluing your own self-worth praise the lord somebody what does the scripture say give me the scripture proverbs 24 verse 3 to 4 any enterprise is built by wise planning Become strong through common sense and profit wonderfully by keeping abreast of the facts. Everybody look at the amplified Proverbs 24, verse 3 to 4. It says, through skillful and godly wisdom, a house, in other words, a life, in other words, a home, in other words, a family, is built, and by understanding it is established on a sound and good foundation. A violation of this principle, your foundation will know it. My younger brother said something to me this week. It's changed my life. Oh. It's changing the way I'm handling my children. And please, you need to do that. The difference between rich people and poor people is consistency. Do you know that the children who go to very expensive school, there's a time they eat. And there's a kind of food they eat. There's a time they read. There's, even during COVID, they had classes. You, the teachers were sleeping in the house. You're on your own. He said to me that white people, there's a specificity by which their children live. There is when they read a book. In fact, I'll speak, I, I was listening to 
um patrick bet david he's, he's he's an insurance broker he also he's also a podcaster he's one of the millionaires in podcast he said his children every night they read 20 pages before they sleep how many pages he says if he goes to a shop with his child and his child says i want this he will tell him if you read four books i buy it for you how many books mm. you have to read four books and you give me summary of each book that you've read i buy it for you he says i am doing an incentive based life i want my children to know that things are not just handed over to you there's a price to pay he's conditioning his children by you hey, mommy, mommy, I want this. Hmm? no matter because hmm, you are feeling shy so important child of god that you live a life structured you live a life what so important live a life structured so for instance please write this down the enemy encourages believers to live in the flesh rather than in the spirit by number one violating the principle of forgiveness if you refuse to forgive and you hold on to hurt and offenses you will have problems so refuse to forgive so when they refuse to forgive and hold on to hurt and offenses you forfeit the blessing what blessing Jesus said, this is the way you should pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in. He says what? Well, give us this day our day. But you see, he brought forgiveness before he brought give us. So you cannot ask God to give you if you hold on to unforgiveness. You know, a lot of people who are married are not happy in their marriage. You know why? Your husband did something to you five years ago. What they are told, where your bank? <laughs> Did you marry to hold on to offenses? No, listen to me. You have to learn to live your life one day at a time, or else when you, your whole face will grow old at a young age. Don't you see a lot of women are not happy? They're not happy. Hmm. What they men, men carry, men, men carry. What can be buried? Why you forgive them? No, please forgive. No, he will do it again. So if God treats you like that, will God be happy? But the enemy will do everything so that you don't forgive. You see, the enemy would always make sure you don't forgive. And, and you see, sometimes it's just offenses. The offense, offense can make you miss out on God. See, the enemy, number, number one, would encourage you to refuse to forgive. To hold on to heads and offenses. Some of you are offended. I know sometimes when I preach, I offend Lady Irene. But I can't kill myself. She's a Christian. She should learn to forgive me. <laughs> I know. I, no, I, I'm being honest. It might be to get the message across, I may say things that will offend her. If she keeps compounding, not my problem. It's her own. I offend you sometimes. If you take that offense and decide not to come to church, whose problem it is? And you know, I used to keep bitterness in my heart a lot. See, I kept bitterness that I became so angry most of the time. That I used to work in a church in ICGC. I can get angry. 3,000 people are gathered in the room. I can get angry. I'm, I'm switching cam the cameras. I can walk like this. <laughs> Take the camera from you and start working. The anger had become so much a part of me that, that things get angry and I, I forget about my environment. Listen to me. You can be misbehaving and it's not because you, you're a bad person, but because you have allowed offense to get into your heart that now is influencing the way you, your attitude, your behavior. So those are closed, not because you're a bad person, but because you have, you have made people to get you. One man, fuck, a cancer man, a raw woman, a sissy, and a man, a phone to me, male, because I'm already in China and normal number i pray listen to me i'm preaching from my heart for you because if you will live by the principles of forgiveness you, you will not struggle in life i've learned so many things from this young beautiful lady sitting in front of me she said to me that unforgiveness is like eating poison and wishing that the person who hurt you should die but when you said it it was not a good time it was not a good time it was, it was not a good time 
Somebody had offended me. I don't want to forgive the person. He said that. <laughs> she was laughing at me. Eh? What's that? <laughs> Say, Unim. <laughs> Sometimes my wife can be very annoying. Allow me to be angry. Is it not my body? You will forgive them. Say, me. Da. Okay, I'm very young. Then she looked at me and said, Unim. <laughs> Unforgiveness. It is like eating poison or drinking poison and hoping and wishing that the other person would die. In my heart, no matter any sort of that. Because a karma come and say, ah, what is this girl saying? At that moment, you know, don't you know that it's not sweet? Is it sweet? I see they pay me. They sweet them. But forgiveness is a gift you give to yourself forgiveness is a gift you give to yourself it has nothing to do with the person it has everything to do with you why because when people hurt you they take power away from you but when you forgive them you take back your power and you become more stronger than them you say are you sure the bible says that Please put it on the screen. He says the man that has control over his spirit is stronger than one who takes over a city. If you don't control your spirit and decide I will not be better. Look at it. He who is slow to anger is better and more honorable than the mighty soldier. And he who rules and controls his own spirit than one than he who captures a city. It's in the Bible. So you must control your spirit. So that no matter what, you are not offended. Hey, right now, I'm not offended though. You come to church, it doesn't offend me. You don't come, it doesn't offend me. I tell you the truth. It doesn't offend me. If you take it. If you don't take it, it doesn't offend me. If you take it, I'm happy for you. No, no, no. no. Now, haven't you noticed that whether I come and there are 10 people or 20 or 30 or 50 or 100, same vigor, I preach. Because I've come to know that it is not about me. My assignment is to sow the seed. Yours is to eat. If you decide not to eat, now your problem. No nope, my own. If you decide to allow yourself to grow and become obolo, that when you climb steps, your heart is <sighs> because you are eating junk food. Is it me my problem? They will call me and say that they have rushed you to hospital. I come and say, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We'll pray for you, eh? When I go home, I'm going to eat. I don't remember you. Some people are born obolo. No matter what you do, even if she drink water, she will increase. She was born like that. You understand me? But those of you who are like me, that you keep allowing yourself because you say, a man has broken your heart. Irene, get me a small catch. Man can't show. Because now I'm going to say, I'm catch you. I'm going when I'm depressed, I eat. A man broke my heart, so, so you know, I feel like eating. And I'm saying, ube u. Ube u. Even yesterday, somebody told me, son, say, Pastor, my, it's, it's stress that is making me put on. When I'm stressed, I eat. Cause why? Because stress ain't just what we are that. Things will be there to give you pressure, but you have to make a decision. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, you need to learn to forgive. Number two, the enemy encourages believers to place our focus on self instead of denying self to love, serve, and bless others. A lot of marriage people have this problem. Let me use the marriage people. But even singles, eh, when he said it, everybody was there. So from that time, every time I go somewhere, everybody's looking at me. Please, how many of you, something happened to somebody many, many years ago? Or many weeks ago, or even last week, that when you see the person, you remember details. How many? That when you went home, you remember everything. The whole week, you're remembering what, what the person did. We don't care about you like that. We don't care about you like that. So most of the time, it's all about me and me. What I, and, and, and I read in the book, he said that women, their problem is not even about them. It's about what their friends think about them. They already I was like, huh? Mm. He said, when it's even a wedding, it's about their friends. What their friends will say. So the wedding package and everything, all these elaborate things that they went, 
they, they do sometimes it's not even about their friends it's about social media people they've never met before because they want people to like it and post it what, what, what nonsense am i doing a wedding so that somebody will come and dance and shake their bottles and of all the wedding they don't show anything on social media but my wedding somebody who dance at my wedding is on the show that i live my life to spend over 50 or 100 thousand on wedding reception alone just so somebody will come and dance and they will put it on social media you are not wise so that that you are living your life to please people when you are not starting your life listen to me my name is pastor daniel Yawenchi. i'm your friend I, I am a founder of a good thriving believers church yet i don't have a car does it change who i am hello does it change who i am when we started this church, i had seven african words i wore it monday to sunday for two years did it change who i am what, 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 what is all this you know as a man of god you need to carry yourself in a certain way you need to drive a car i'm speaking to one man of god he says he's going to he's looking for somebody to give me a car that you'll be paying small one i'm so suffer never ever do that thing why are you stressing yourself i'm not communicating at all you see i was telling my wife the other day that pastors must change the way we preach why because we must teach people how to live don't put unnecessary stress and pressure on yourself life is too short for you to waste it on frivolous things hello when i pick uber won't you take me there if i get there and i pray for you and you not receive it it's okay touch your neighbor and say please i can't kill myself i can't kill myself i can't kill myself i can't kill myself amen so most of we focus on ourselves how you felt hey he made me feel see nobody can look down upon you if you do not accept it that that lady i didn't say i'm looking down upon her how did you know that i'm looking down i'm looking down you look up i am looking down you're looking is your head keep your head i'm I, 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 I making some sense at all see me you can speak to me anyhow it i know that you were not brought up well that's what is in my head that you, you are uncultured you are uncouth i won't kill myself because of you no 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 no. see when you wake up look good hello i said do what that you look down upon me it's just a few seconds you spoke to me in a way no me keep you so i'm walking another person and as for me everybody looks down upon me so when i'm walking me too i'm looking down come here Andre no 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 brothers and sisters have faith in god and believe that the fact that your time of manifestation has not come does not mean it will not come that god is faithful that if i will keep on living a good life one of these days my door will open Amen. because sometimes by the time god visits you those who look down upon you they will know if you know and see this is what i've come to know success is a great vindicator i mean <laughs> success is what it's a great vindicator Nana, Mamka Semicho, people can be looking down upon you forget them build your life when you become successful when they see they say i'm proud of you ah me and lady i went for a party somewhere there's somebody that i used to pray with he's my very good friend after a while when you call him he doesn't pick your call after a while i said ah I call you don't pick i call you don't pick keep yourself after all friendship is mutual i want to be your friend you decide to be my friend if you no more want to be my friend you are no more my friend is that not it is this me i mean my three piece of butter on point i have some correct perfume on my body i knew i'll meet him then tim shedda with pj putin i have different kinds of perfumes for different kinds of events put the perfume on me when he saw me he said Charlie but you're looking fine oh. Charlie I'm proud of you Charlie please can, can we start the prayer again I'm saying I'm saying yeah 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 uh, I'll look at my shadow what I'm saying to you is don't let somebody's attitude towards you cause you to to look to self and and discredit or disenfranchise your own self Mm? 
And it causes you, it you, you will not be able to love. You will not be able to serve people. You think everybody is bad. But the Bible says many have entertained angels unaware. How keep serving them? Because brothers and sisters, listen to me. It is just a matter of time. Is it not me who used to sell bread at Kanishi Market with butter? Do you know how many pastors have sat in a private jet before? Very few. Me, I know this song inside. From butter bread to tea bread to jet bread. <laughs> See, don't disenfranchise yourself because God's plan for you is greater. See, you know, the problem we have is that we look down upon our own self. We, the problem has nothing to do with them all. We ourselves. No. Sometimes, when my wife married me, she used to wonder why. People are not treating me well, yet I'm giving them money. She used to wonder. I, didn't, I couldn't explain it to her. That it's not about me. See, they are shooting themselves in the foot. I am blessed. What does the word of God say? He says that when I have and people ask me, I should give to them. He said, do not say come tomorrow when it is in your power to give today. So I'll give you even though I know you are, you are not treating me well. Because it has nothing to do with you. Because after a while, when I stop giving to you, you will know that you cost it on yourself. Am I not blessed? Or oh, who said blessing means I have to have a car? I wanted you people to know that a man does not need a car to make him a respected person. It's how you carry yourself. I'm serving people. I'm loving people. I'm being a blessing to people. And I enjoy it, sitting in somebody's car and chatting with the person. I'm not driving. My hands are free. Hey, God, I don't have a car. Look at me. I pray down. And you know, I am muscle now. Oh, yeah. I have a mental problem. Because the blessing of God on your life is not the cars, material things. Material things is an after effect of the blessing. Can you be without a house and still be happy? Can you be without a car and still be happy? Can you be without a child and still be happy? Because the child that you are looking for, it is to tell people that you also have a child. It's good. But your life is better than a child. What if you get pregnant on the day of delivery, you die, and the child stays? What's the point? Who will you show to? I, 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 am, I, am I communicating at all? So it's a good thing to have a child, but please listen to me. Don't let that one steal your joy. Number three, the enemy encourages selfishness rather than giving generously of our lives and substance praise the lord somebody hallelujah i said what the enemy encourages all selfishness rather than giving generously of our lives and substance we give generously out of our lives and substance the enemy encourages selfishness see this is what i've come to know brother by experience the more i give the more I receive. Because when money breaks its hold off of your life, there's nothing that God wants to give you that he can't give you. Please listen to me, church. Don't let material things, I'm not saying don't, don't desire to have them, but don't let material things steal your joy and cause you to become so selfish. Do you know a lot of people don't pay tight now in this church? Yes. A lot of people don't pay tight anymore. A lot of people don't give. When they will give. Number four. The enemy causes encourages us to focus on reason. Focus on what? Number one, reason. Number two, feelings. Number three, circumstances. Rather than on faith in the word. The enemy encourages us to focus on reason, feelings, and circumstances. Rather than on faith in the word. Faith in the word. And most of the time, this is it. You reason. The devil, see, my former boss taught me something, lady. Honey. He says that the devil, if you want to be sad, he will give you reasons to be sad. He will remind you about some food that when you were growing up, your aunties ate and they didn't give you. Your, your, he will remind you of things and when he has nothing to remind you, he will give you dreams and visions to make you sad, to make you look down upon yourself. Listen to me. If a man walks away from you, let the man go. He's too stupid to know your value. When the woman walks away from you, thank God. Because the Bible says it is better to live on the roof of a building than to live with a nagging wife. God is delivering you from calamity. 
Let her go. Because there are so many fishes in the sea. Praise the Lord. You see, we focus on circumstance. I'm in this state. I don't know what to do. I'm here. No, 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 no. It's time to rise. Rise up. There's a scripture in the Bible. It says, arise for this is not your rest. You can't rest here. You can't focus on your circumstance. I'm a single parent. I have three children. And no man is coming. Look at my age. Who will marry me? Bros. Who said there are men who are looking for women who don't want children to marry? See, there's an advantage in every disadvantage. Then, then every day you, <laughs> hey, why am I so? Which man will love you? You come to prayer. In pain now, born to flavor him. God, ne be sin be ma bi mpo aba na obo mpa ya na se onyame bi na ni kura no hu se. This girl, uh, okay, so, wait. Mm-hmm. So, so why you too, why you so soon do? Spirituality is good, but you, you you see the Bible says when you want to pray, close your door and pray. So the one the spirituality, my dear, you bore them. Who be a bontia? No, I shut up. Now they are boy two or two team. No, I respect. Now now they fed that be a woe to now. Now I shall heal now. Go up and down because a marketing and communication. Praise the Lord. Am I communicating at all? Yeah. But you are dead. The fact that you are married doesn't mean that you you, you should be a, a package in the market. What warranty? Why are you not going out? The children, the children. Hmm, Pastor, you don't know the children. Uku. Upia bontia no ashada. Sister Bihu no say. This man doesn't deserve this woman. No, I bear no. In two bed, did they know? Yeah, no, 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 you are not. Everybody, you suspect everybody around your husband. Why wouldn't he go for somebody else? Because what they tell you? Generosity. Somebody say generosity. generosity. A lot of us, we don't know how to give. We don't know how to love. We don't know how to add value to people's life. We can't even give people compliments. Remember what I saw them are incredible. You can't even tell your, 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 your wife, you are looking good. You, 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 you look at her and say, No way, Wendy. No. No, 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 no. He said, about it. He say ah into into un ka say me ah are so why if eh kwai no 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 be je- see listen to me if you like let's all practice it this week when you see people just be generous oh you are looking good how are you doing just be generous with forgiveness be generous with love find something and buy it for your husband i mean come ko ka wife na me dane no and san ma ko boka hallelujah praise the lord are you getting what I'm trying to say? It's so important that 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 see. Let's practice it this week. Amen. I said what? This week, just be generous. See how you even start feeling. Just be generous. When you go and sit somewhere to eat, just be generous. Do you know if you go and you tell the people 20 cities, the next time they'll treat you better? Because on said they say hey. And then what strength is what? You can spend one hour there. Oh, I'm patient. You need to soak a I hear no no binya. I hear. Yeah. So we focus on our feelings. And doors have closed because of, I don't feel like going to church. I, I I don't feel like loving him. I, I don't feel like showing him love. Hey, one of my friend's wife said something to me. That was when I knew that a lot of people are dressed, but they are insane. He says, "Sovo." If I let my, my, my husband know that, that I enjoy the sexual experience with him, then he you home too much. And I'm so, oh, oh, problem. Then the same woman said to me, but so for me, that my husband doesn't sleep with somebody else because he will leave me. So uh, I'm wondering, okay, so number one minute, 
You are in marriage with somebody. And yet, you don't want the person to even know that the things he does for you, you appreciate it. And yet, you are afraid that if he, if he goes to do for another person, the person will appreciate and you will lose. My point is this. What do you want in life? Why are you allowing your emotions to have the best part of you in every area of your life? You can't even dress well because you feel like um, people who... who do you know there are some people when I say they look nice, I read immediately when I say, oh, you have a nice leg. Oh my, I'm nice. No, ah, your fingers are nice. Pastor. Oh, pastor, stop that. Hell. Finish. How can God open a door for you to enter into some spaces? Because your confidence is a problem. See, my daughter Amira have made us know size does not matter. Jeans are jeans. Dress are dress. Shorts are shorts. He like because bros. I am who I am by the grace of God. And what the grace of God bestowed on me was not in vain. I have a grace for body, so I, I package the body decently and nicely. When you have a slim, slimmer body, package it well. Yeah. I'm not a number, I'm not a number, lady. So the enemy makes you focus on reason, feelings, and circumstances rather than faith in the word of God. So when you go through stuff, you're you're, you're focused on so much the problem, not on the word of God. The word of God must tell you that no matter the circumstance, surely there is an end. You know, let me be honest with you. All of us, sometimes we feel down. We feel discouraged. The enemy will encourage you to foster independent, disobedient, and even rebellious attitudes. As for me, leave me to myself. So you join your friends who are not married. And they are drinking alcohol and chasing girls. And they say, women, we can talk to them anyhow. They are not married to your wife. You are married to her. You know all men who get married, young guys, you use your whole life savings to marry a woman. The wedding. You spend every money there. Two of us. Men, talk to me. Two of us. Is it not your whole life savings you use? At the time, all your money you use for wedding. Is that not it? We are now wild dry. So how come at some point in your life you use all your life savings to marry a woman? And now you who married the person with all your life savings, you are now taking your money to go and give to a girl you are not married to just to have sex. When the same woman you marry to, you can have the same enjoyment with her without paying for it. Now, which level of insanity is this one? That you would leave your wife in the house, go and sit somewhere and drink alcoholic beverage with friends, chat for many, many hours, and you are happier there than to be in your own home. Why did you marry the woman then? You have TV in your house, you don't watch it. You go and sit outside and go and watch football somewhere. It's good. But why are you not letting your friends come home? You people go and sit at a, a pub to go and take in alcohol. Rebellious attitude. Independent. It's me, my life. So there are many married men who are still single. So now they don't wear a ring. This one. This, they'll tell you that when I wear it, uh, I get rashes. Everybody gets rashes. It doesn't cut your hand. The rash, it doesn't cut your hand. And there are some women very independent why did you marry you cannot have a rebellious you see rebelling against god's word it will come to bite you and the enemy would rather encourage you to rebel against god's word rebel rebel you rebel you rebel against authority you you are an authority unto yourself yeah i preach a sermon here a man came to this church and stopped do you know what I preach? There's a point people should reverse rules. Women should do the work of the wife and the wife should do the work of the husband. The guy got offended and left this church. Why? Because he wanted to misbehave. And this church, I was preaching things that would not let him misbehave. Mm-hmm. Let me drink some sweet wine. Let me drink. Hustle. Sweet wine. Number six. The enemy will encourage you to depend on self and natural ability rather than on the anointing. To depend on self and natural ability rather than the anointing. And number seven, the enemy will encourage you to create a division wherever he is allowed to do so. 
weakening the witness of the church and its ability to impact the world with the gospel, creating a division wherever he is allowed to do, weakening the witness of the church and its ability to impact the world with the gospel. Then we'll encourage you to, to create a division wherever he is allowed to do so, weakening the, the witness of the church and its ability to impact the world with the gospel. Let me pick the two and, and join it. You know, there are a lot of us, we depend on ourselves, not the anointing. My ability. I'm, I'm a skillful negotiator. You don't know. When the anointing is on you, you will do more. God doesn't say, don't use your ability. By saying that, recognize the place of the anointing. The anointing makes the difference. It's not your ability to talk. It's the grace on your head. It's not ability to sell. It's the grace because there are people who are better sellers than you. They are salesmen than you, but the anointing gives them a leverage and an upper hand. But the enemy will let you think about it. That's how come when people start prospering, they no more give tight. So the moment Christians start prospering, they stop going to church. Do you know that that's the truth? Yeah, I'll finish. They stop going to church. They are so busy. They depend on their ability. No more the anointing. No more the anointing. First, Isaac used to come for week evening meetings. Now he doesn't come. He's depending on his ability, not the anointing. He's very skillful. He's a good man. So, you know, I know how to do car servicing at, at Bazar Lube in 18 Junction. I know how to do one. Stop depending on your abilities rather than the anointing. Whatever you are, close your eyes and pray. Stop breaking divisions in the church. You and somebody are fighting. It will destroy the impact of the church. Pray. God, help me to be a Christian. Help me to live right. Help me. Somebody pray.